a high-energy brand of football has fans in Logan re-energized with the return of Aggies football. Hi, I'm Jesse Kurtz in the Mountain West Network studio here with what you need to know as we count down to kickoff with the Utah State Aggies. Blake Anderson is the new head coach of the Utah State Aggies, bringing a new plan of attack, his fast-paced offense that helped Arkansas State teams win two Sun Belt championships and six bowl berths in seven seasons has breathed some life into the Aggies offense. Anderson's 2020 Red Wolves ranked second nationally in passing yards per game. He looks forward to showcasing the scheme to Utah State fans and giving Mountain West defenses a run for their money in 2021. We've got a quarterback room that's going to be competitive with Peasley having reps and Logan Bonner having played in this system and, and spent time in the system. So I think it starts at quarterback. We've got an offensive line foundation. It's, it's, it's thin, but it is talented. It's big. Uh, and, and then we've, we've got skill. So when you look, uh, do we have all the perfect pieces? No, but we've got a good starting foundation. Probably a better starting foundation than I've had in some previous stops. So I'd like to think that we can get off and running at a good pace and, and put pressure on people. Savon Scarborough is one of the most dangerous players in college football. While his 49 career receptions as a wide receiver have been valuable, Scarver has really made his mark on special teams in his time in Logan. A 2018 first team All-American kick returner, the Aggie senior has six career kickoff returns for touchdowns, which is tied for the fifth most in NCAA history and our second most in Mountain West history. No matter how or when he gets his hands on the ball, Scarver is a scoring threat. God-given ability, and he's got unbelievable speed. He stretches the field in ways that most people can't. I was pleasantly surprised at his ball skills. Uh, you know, kind of the knock on him, well, you know, he, he's not a great receiver. Well, you know, we didn't take that approach. We just went in and said, you can be whoever you want to be, and he made some of the toughest catches of anybody this spring. I think he'll be more well-rounded. Well, I've taken a lot of steps forward. Uh, Lately, I've just been catching a lot of balls, just perfecting my craft each and every day. You know, not taking any off days, because you know, um, you know, you put in the work, then you get something good out of it. So, I've just been taking step by step at receiver and running routes and being smart and uh, watching defenses. So, you know, I'll be ready. Nick Henninger is back after an honorable mention All Mountain West season in 2020, in which he led the team and tied for second in the Mountain West and fourth in the nation with three forced fumbles. He also led the Aggies in tackles for loss and tied for the team lead in sacks while ranking third with 42 tackles. This season, Henninger is making a switch from linebacker to defensive line and hopes to be even more productive. Our defense is built around chaos. It's about creating catch, tackles for loss, sacks, uh, you know, trying to be disruptive, and he fits that very, very well. I think, similar to what we talked about in Savon, I think the changes that we've made in the personality of the defense maybe benefit him as much as anybody because it's going to allow him to do what he does really well, and it's going to come very naturally. When he came in, he changed the game for us on the edge and at the backer position. Him going down, um, I feel like, is a blessing in disguise. You know, he get to help his young guys get to where they want to be. On top of that, he's getting stronger. He's getting mentally better at everything off the field. So that's only going to translate to the field. And once he comes back, it's just going to up the, the edge of our defense even higher right now. Utah State opens up the new season at Washington State on September 4th. Conference play opens up two weeks later with a trip to Air Force. And in between those two road trips, is a home game against North Dakota and Blake Anderson's first chance to run his team out at Maverick Stadium in front of the home fans. A moment he's been excited about since making the move to the Cache Valley. I've played in that stadium a couple times as an opponent. And um, I love the fact that I'm gonna get to experience it as a head coach in a full capacity. I, I would have hated for my first experience in that stadium, which is an unbelievable Saturday. I remember leaving both times, unfortunately, both times after taking losses, just in case we're checking the scoreboard. Uh, and telling guys on my staff and players, that's what Saturday's supposed to be like. That's a great, that's a great stadium environment. I'm excited about getting to be full capacity against a really good North Dakota team who did go deep in the playoffs, who we absolutely respect. 
but I love the fact that it's got a chance to be sold out or packed, and, and I think it absolutely will. I expect that our, our fan base and cash value is going to come out in big number. There's a new energy with Utah State football, and a lot of it sure is due to the coaching staff, but a lot of it is due to the energy of this program not liking where they were at last year. At 1-5 and five on the season, a lot of turmoil surrounding the program. There is optimism that there's a new energy, a new vibe around this program that they do not want to repeat where they were at. Utah State has had a lot of success in football in the Mountain West Conferences, transitioning nearly 10 years ago. And this is a staff and this is a, uh, a group of players that feel like they are much better than what they showed last year. Improvement at the quarterback position in Logan Bonner, who will come over and most likely will get the start at quarterback for Utah State, leads me to believe that this Utah State offense will be better, this defense should be better, and this is a team that should compete at a much higher level this year in the Mountain West. Utah State opens up the 2021 season at Washington State on Saturday, September 4th. From the Mountain West Network Studio, I'm Jesse Kurtz.